you know, a few years ago when people started to talk about destiny and scrolls of destiny and finding out what their mandate was and who are they, what's their blueprint for life, you know, they all wanted to know what it was so they could try and fulfill it. And the reality is, as soon as you try and fulfill something, you're, it's counterproductive because you're trying to do something which contradicts the reality of the freedom that you have in knowing who you are you know and a lot of people then wanted to see their scroll and what's on my scroll and you know what's my destiny and actually the scroll and destiny are are just basically an outworking of your this is who you are so your scroll revealed who you are and revealed your destiny to be a son of god so you could outwork that destiny every day in your life without having to have a list of instructions to tell you what to do so then you could be secure because you knew what to do and you wouldn't get it wrong and people didn't want to get it wrong because they were afraid that if they got it wrong god would in some way disapprove so they strive to get it right and the perfect will of god <laughs> as if there was only one thing that we could be in life and god has wanted us to be free to express ourselves as his sons made in his image to be creative not to be restricted by the set of rules or regulations but to be in a relationship which would create the desire to outwork love as we've been loved we're empowered to love you know which is so different from most of what you'll get from the religious systems which will all be trying to conform you to a set of beliefs and a behavior outworking of those beliefs so that you fit in and so you're accepted and they tell you that god only accepts you if you behave which puts people in fear and therefore susceptible to manipulation yeah. give more God will be pleased with you if you give more. Yeah, well, God will be pleased with you if you give what he wants you to give. He won't be impressed if you try and give more to impress him or less because you're afraid of giving. And all these things all tie together with the relationship. So if we're in relationship with the father, then we begin to know the father's heart and then we can outwork the father's heart through who we are because God has made us creative to choose the way we outwork the Father's heart. It isn't prescriptive. You know, and people feel when there's this sort of sovereignty of God, there is the perfect will of God for my life. There's only one person I can marry. There's only one of this. I've got to do it this way. I've got to get it right. They're in this stress, you know, where God wants them to enjoy and be free. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.